Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Silent Core here with your latest tips, tricks and information. Today I have another Sims video and I'm going to be going through my top 10 tips and tricks for The Sims 4. If you do go on to enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate if you could leave a like. It only takes one click and it really helps out my channel. And always, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. So let's get straight into this with tip number one. And it's actually just a handy little keyboard shortcut that can allow you to scale up and down items. So as you'll see here, I'm scaling up an item and the keyboard shortcut for this is you hold down shift and hit the right squared bracket and that will actually make an object bigger. And then to make it smaller again, you can hold down shift and hit the left square bracket and that will shrink it back down. Now it's worth noting that you can't shrink items smaller than their original size, but you can scale up every item from the store um, that I've tried so far. So as you'll see, I make a massive big dinosaur in the garden and... Um, so it's just a really cool little trick that you can do um, to scale objects up if you want to make things bigger, if you want to make, I don't know, plants or bushes bigger. You'll see me in a second put down a, a toy car and I scaled it up to, you know, a normal size car. <laughs> Since cars aren't in The Sims yet, you know, you can make it look like you've got a car in your garage or whatever, if that's what you want to do. So it's just a really cool little trick if you guys didn't already know about it. Next up, I'm going to be showing you how to turn off the tutorial pop-ups in The Sims 4. So these are the little things that pop up and give you little um, tips about your gameplay or about the interface. Um, now if you're a long term fan of The Sims, you've pl if you've played a lot of Sims, it might mostly be stuff you already know about. So you might want to hide that and just get straight into the gameplay. So what you want to do is come out of the game and open up Origin. Now from here you want to right click The Sims and select Game Properties. Here you'll get a little text box that will ask you to put in a command line argument. And in here you want to type um, dash dash no underscore tutorial and hit apply. What this will actually do is it will completely turn off the tutorial for you. Now I decided to actually leave my tutorial on because I do like getting little hints about some of the new stuff that's in The Sims 4 that I haven't experienced before so I wouldn't want to miss any of those tips or tricks. Next up I'm going to be explaining how to rotate objects in two different modes. So in the default Sims 4 controls the rotation uh, mechanism is actually different from all the other Sims so in this default Sims 4 controls, you actually have to hold the item and then tap the right mouse button and that will rotate the item um, round clockwise for you. Now you can also go into your menu and go into game options and actually switch right back to the Sims 3 controls which you may be uh, more familiar with and that allows you to, you know, click and sort of drag round and that will rotate your item a lot easier in my opinion. But it's really awesome that we get the choice to choose between these two different modes so you can choose the one that works for you. Tip number four, I'm going to show you how you can actually play your own music in The Sims 4. So you want to make your way over to this folder, you want to find The Sims 4, and then go into Custom Music Folder, and here you'll see a selection of folders for each radio station. Now what you can do is just copy and paste your own music into, into these folders, and uh, then tune in the radio in-game, and you'll be able to hear your own music. I'm actually a big fan of The Sims 4 music, but if you do want to spice things up a little bit, you can go ahead and do that. Tip number five is actually quite an obvious one, but it's really important in The Sims 4, and that's better furniture will actually give you much better performance in The Sims 4. So that goes for almost everything. If you buy a cheap bed, it's going to take your Sim longer to recover his energy. He might even wake up with a sore back and be in a bad mood. Or for example, if you invest in a good shower, you'll be able to get cleaner a lot faster, save some time in the mornings when you're getting ready for work, and just make yourself a lot more efficient. So basically, make sure you're investing in the right furniture and it will give you a lot better performance when you're playing. Tip number six is to do with your career and it's actually really easy to miss. And uh, when your sim is at work, you can actually control how they perform. So as you'll see, I right click on my sim and I'm able to choose if he works hard, to <laughs> slacks off or take it easy, and I can even suck up to the boss. So these are all things that you should keep in mind when you're looking to advance your career. Next up is actually one of my favourite little tricks I've managed to find in The Sims 4 and that's that you can right click a sink and choose to brush your teeth and this will give you a quick little hygiene boost and also give your sim the confident moodlet. So it's a great little thing to do before work, you know you can give yourself a little hygiene boost if you don't have long um, to get a shower or whatever and also give yourself a confidence uh, when you're heading into work. Tip number 8 was actually one I found on the official Sims Reddit, so a shout out to whoever posted that on there, I do apologise, I forgot your name. Um, but it's to do with efficiency in your kitchen, and if you actually put your fridge, and then a counter, and then a stove, and then a counter in that order, it makes you really efficient when you're cooking. And as you'll see, you'll see my Sim go to the fridge first, 
then he goes to a counter to prepare, then he goes to the next square to the cooker, and then he obviously goes to the next square to put down the meal. Now obviously this is something that can be really easily overlooked when you're playing The Sims. You know, it's quite easy to just put your fridge and the cooker together because it looks quite nice, but actually it's a lot more efficient to have these in this order so your sim you know, doesn't uh, go back and forth and waste time. And it just makes you a lot more efficient, especially if you don't have long to get ready, you can quickly make a, a meal in as least time as possible. On to tip number 9, and that's that you can actually take screenshots and even record gameplay through The Sims client itself. So you can take pictures with C and record with uh, hitting V. And uh, make sure to also go in your game settings. I like to always make sure when I'm recording, I'm also recording my sort of interface, you know, with my uh, my stats and, um, you know, my sort of mood and things like that. So you need to actually tick that on. It's off by default. So you'll, you won't be seeing any of the UI interface if you don't tick this on. So if you do come across anything interesting in The Sims and want to record it for YouTube, this should come in pretty handy. So tip number 10, which is actually the last tip I have for you all in this video, and that's that you should be using your emotions in The Sims to their advantages, even if it is a negative emotion. So here you'll see my sim does have the confident emotion, and I'm using it to my advantage because it gives me a boost when I'm practicing charisma by doing speeches in a mirror. So when you find your sim gets a new emotion, you should always look to see how you can actually use it to its advantage. So even if your sim gets the angry emotion, Although that is a negative emotion, you can use it to its advantage and say, for example, go for an angry workout. So that was my top 10 tips for The Sims 4. I hope you all enjoyed. If you have played The Sims 4, do let me know in the comments what you think of it. Uh, what were your first thoughts on The Sims 4? Did it live up to your expectations? I'd love to hear it from you. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. As always, all my social media links will be down in the description if you want to follow me on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter. Have yourselves an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>